welcome um, you all here and also to those listening to us um, through syndicated radio to 2C2. Uh, it's a platform where youth of Abuasi meet to discuss the Bible. It's not going to be in a form of a preaching, but it's going to be like a Bible studies where we'll all share ideas tonight. So in a space of about 45 minutes, we're going to go through um, in-depth Bible studies where we'll all hear ideas from ourselves. Okay, um, we'd, we'd just like to hear just one or two expectations from us um, tonight. You know, I'm sure you had a flyer on your WhatsApp phone that uh, a program like this will be coming off here in run-ups. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a monthly Bible studies we're going to have. And then we outline the topic. How can the Christian increase in the knowledge of the word in a world where lots of things demand our attention? Um, so we want to know your expectation. What are you expecting tonight? Uh, 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 hopefully, a new expectation. Okay, Inti, just one or two people we want to hear. What are your expectations tonight? Okay, Mr. Abu, what are you expecting tonight? Tell us something small. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I was a little, uh, very happy when I heard that of the program which is coming on this evening. That is going to uh, throw much light on that of the Christian and then the word of God and as well as the challenges or the things that are facing day in and out in our daily life. My expression tonight is that after this program at least uh, one third, let me say one third because since uh, this is just the beginning of the program of Christians in Obuasi who at least focus much on their uh, daily Bible studies and their spiritual life uh, in order to, to attweight that of the uh, physical circulations of life. That's my expectation for this evening. Thanks so much. So that is uh, Mr. Abu's expectation. Can we also hear from any other? Uh, also, at the end of the day, you may na ode ekofi. I think that the world is fast moving, and since you're not so content, people really are losing the very essence why God created us. And we are also losing why you know we are supposed to take the world the word of god at heart my expectation is this that at the end of the day we will not you know still be consumed by the things of this world and our work and other things but we will still see the relevance in making time for the word of god in as much as things are still going on fast people have huge targets to meet and all but at the end of the day, we'll see you know, the word of God playing a pivotal role as far as our lives are concerned as Christians. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. So um, those are the expectations of um, 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 some few people around uh, that we'll see the word of God as pivotal in everything that we do. Not just say, uh, the compound and i was so happy i was so happy uh, all right thank you so much for the expectations okay so um we'll move straight into our bible studies for today uh, and it's a, a 2c2 uh, bible home and um and i think that this evening me ka de edi ka na me se me ka 2c2 a na won so wa de so se the fragrance of his knowledge amen okay ti yen sha se 2c2 the fragrance of his knowledge 2c2 the fragrance of his knowledge yo me da se pan ye eni ti no ah mema brother joel ama bibike to e bi afa de enti a ah ejuma die ya to din 2c2 no be sima be ba akope bi na ya to aso Okay, I'm highly privileged to really put in light 
the purpose for 2 sweet 2 I think uh, when you read Second Corinthians chapter 2 I mean the whole chapter it talks about Christ manifesting his knowledge through us as Christians if I'm able to speak to strike the hearts of men to turn their ways into the ways of the Lord it's never my strength but it is Christ in me making uh, the, the, the savor of his knowledge straight into the heart like Peter uh, stood up on the day of Pentecost and he spoke and about 3,000 was added to the church it was the Holy Spirit in Peter that struck the hearts of those unbelievers so 2 c uh, just came about because we realized that if we are going to reach the unbelievers or people who are struggling with the with the, with the last of the flesh and the, and the things of this world then it's really going to be Christ who is manifesting his knowledge and that means when we read John chapter 8 verse 32 34 he says the truth shall set you free it's not the truth that sets free but the truth you know because the truth so you will know the truth and the truth will set you free so it's the truth that sets free so we are here to make uh, the fragrance of his knowledge available to any listener uh, who is eavesdropping or paying attention or listening to 2C2. So 2C2 is all about Christ making the fragrance of his knowledge uh, available through us as vessels. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Brother Joel. And then um, 2C2, as we, we heard from him, Second Corinthians chapter 2, the whole chapter 2, more especially the verse 14. I read from the NIV version, which says that, But thanks be to God. Who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of Him. Amen. Amen. So He's spreading the fragrance of the knowledge through us. So today I'm going to listen to the fragrance of God's knowledge through Sister Lucy, through Brother Sammy, through Sister Janet, then on and on and on. Then when we leave the four corners of run ups here, we will keep spreading the knowledge out there as well. When we gather with our friends, we'll let them know that we know Christ and his word. Okay, so we'll move on straight up to our discussion for today. Today we are looking at the topic which says, How can the Christian increase in the knowledge of the word? In a world where lots of things demand our attention. A quite bad sooner, Christoni, Obetimi, Ewo nyankopo asemmu Ewo wi ase asabre niamma bebre na eji adwe yi Enu nti we ene ebe he no enne na ye bia biem ni atese tese na edikan no brother Joe uh obi beside say how can we increase in the knowledge of the word word no no obi sa say ye kasafa bible no ho ana say ye kasafa the word the personality Jesus Christ ho Okay, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Okay, when you read Second Peter chapter one, verse three to eight. Second Peter chapter one, verse three to eight. Second Peter chapter one. Please, uh, someone can just help me out to read it. Uh, verse three. From any version, yeah. Yep. Okay. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 I read from the NIV version mm-hmm. Grace and peace be yours in abundance mm-hmm. Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord Verse chapter, 4 Chapter 1 verse 3 yeah. okay. Second Peter chapter Second 1 Peter. Yeah, Chapter 1, one, verse, one three. verse 3 yeah. And I read the verse 4 Or should I take the verse 3 again? Three. Take the verse 3 again please Okay, the verse 3 again Grace and peace be, be yours in abundance Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Is that issue? Second Peter chapter one. One verse three. Verse three, yeah, verse three. Through his divine power has yeah. given us everything we need. Is that one for life and godliness? Okay, okay, okay. Verse I was reading the verse two, sorry. Oh, okay. So take your verse three again. The verse please. three, I take uh, it again. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him. Who called us by his own glory and goodness? Amen. Please take the verse four again. Verse four. Take Continue. Verse four. Continue. Verse, take the verse four. Okay. Verse four. Yeah. I continue from the verse four. Okay. Through this, he has given us his very great and precious promises, mm-hmm. so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. 
Okay, I thank you very much. When Amen. you read the whole Second Peter chapter one verse three to eight, he speaks about epignosis and gnosis. The epignosis is the knowledge of Christ Himself. When we read the verse eight, he says, "Till we come to the full knowledge of Christ." Verse eight, he said, "Till we come to the full knowledge." But before we come to the full knowledge of Christ, he told us the things we are supposed to be doing, and that is the gnosis. But the epignosis is coming to the full knowledge of Him. So what we are here to do is. How can we be adding those things he just mentioned from the verse 5 to verse 6 to 7 to 8 till we come to the full exact knowledge of him? And who is him? Christ, definitely. Hallelujah. So please, I hope it's clear. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so that means that we are talking about Jesus Christ, the Word. And we all know that Jesus Christ is inseparable from the Bible. Okay, yes. He is one with it. So, we're talking about both of them. We're talking about the experiential knowledge, encountering him, experiencing him. And then we're also talking about knowledge from the Bible, which is from the Word. Okay, so we've now known the kind of word we are talking about here. Yehu, where the cry can was him say, Christo, and I say, Nyanko Pansim, if it's only a seminar, a year back. I feel, you have a question now. You have a question that's in a GD for a breakfast, you have a baby. Increase. Is it even necessary at all? Does a church see increase and growing in the knowledge of the word necessary? Is it necessary? That is my first question. Do you just touch on it a little? And okay, I think it's, oh, no. it's, it's necessary because we are in the world. According to First John chapter 15, verse 19, it says, The whole world lies in the wickedness of the enemy. The devil is the god of this world. And if you are going to reign on this step, this is his step. This is the devil's step. He told Jesus straight, point blank, Luke chapter 4. He told Jesus, and Jesus didn't argue. This is the devil's death. And if you are going to reign as Christ, as First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, we are aliens and pilgrims of this land. Then we need the knowledge of him to be able to overcome all these temptations and trials that are going on around. The world is full of hedonism now. What is hedonism? The devil has made it, the fast the youth special, to, for make it uh, pleasure, and goal to be the goal of life, uh, pleasure. Let me say pleasure and happiness to be the goal of life. Just get out, out, run ups. You see, youth like ourselves chilling. You say they are chilling, but they are, they are rather killing themselves slowly. That is not chilling. We are even here chilling. We are chilling. We are giving our spirit man the food that he needs. So we are rather chilling and they are killing themselves, but they don't know about it. Hallelujah. So we are right here and we know the people who are really listening to us will be blessed. Hallelujah. Because we are not killing ourselves, but we are chilling. Because in this world, it's full of hedonism. The devil has polluted the atmosphere, social media, television, billboards. Even when you don't want to do it, you don't want to see it, it keeps pursuing you. So you need the knowledge, the know-how to dwell here and still please God. Hallelujah. So I think it's really, really essential for the Christian to grow in the knowledge. Because it's the knowledge that will teach us. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, so I would want to now hear from the audience. How necessary is increase? Increasing in the knowledge of the gospel. Because me come at you. Oh, who is our bad church Sunday? On a mature. Now we be to hear preaching. Can no one know? When you be, anya na watch you na when you be at the coffee and into a pen. Me be see who say. How essential? How necessary? Must the believer or must the Christian increase in the knowledge of the word? Yeah, it's so essential to be increased in the word as we read from um first Peter chapter one verse three. Okay. You know when we read um when you read your Bible um Matthew chapter four, he said they said that Jesus was led to be tempted okay. and before he he was tempted to win that temptation it wasn't prayer mm -hmm. for when i read it it wasn't prayer that Jesus used to to overcome um, the temptation from satan mm -hmm. it was the word mm -hmm. 
he said it is written it is written so if a christian can overcome all challenges that we are seeing in this world now it is being increased in the word that the word within you that makes you succeed that makes you powerful that's what i know about it they say that um prayerless christian is what powerless but christian, i don't yeah. see it that way okay what i see is that someone who is poor a christian who is powerful is the one with much word in him okay so you must increase in the, the way. All right. Thank you very much. I like the angle he, he took. You know, he, he talked about the fact that temptation, because of temptations and trials that are coming, it is the one who is increasing in the word who will be able to what? Withstand. Okay. So thanks for that um, line. Increasing in the word is very necessary so that we can withstand temptations. All right. What can you also say? How necessary is increasing in the word and growing in God's word? Okay. Jane, let me hear from you. First of all, I would like to say that um, growing in the knowledge of the Word of God is a process. It's not a one-time thing. Okay. So, referencing from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5. 1 Peter 1, 5. Yes. What you can read. be writing. For today, we didn't bring our blackboard. Uh, yeah. Sorry, our whiteboard. We would have written all the verses that are quoted here on it. But don't worry. Uh, we'll get the audio and then... Um, it's a process. Back. And this is how it begins. It begins with the foundation of faith okay. or trust or conviction, however we, we might want to take it. And I believe that that is the fundamental. If you want to go in the knowledge, you need to have faith in what you are trying to get knowledge of. Okay. Now, and going forward and building on that, we need to add the element of virtue, striving for excellence. And, you know, yeah, Kase, if you are, you know, how important is it? That I feel that it is extremely important. Extremely? Extremely important. Mm. Because it is the basis of whatever faith you and I share. Okay. And then in doing that, we must also strive for excellence in whatever we are doing. So, it means that excellence or that virtue. That we seek for. I think that all the problems that we are having now, we have to solve. Okay. Social issues and vices are concerned. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Extremely important. All right, I want to look at our man we are talking about Jesus Christ, the reason we are here. Luke chapter 2, verses 52. Luke chapter 2, verses 52. I'm reading from the King James Version. It says that, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. And in favor with God and man, it is a increasing in the knowledge of the word and necessary. Then, can Christ to name on all increasing wisdom? Hallelujah! There was even an element of increase in the life of Jesus. How much more us? This is of a preacher. We are in the new year. We a baby baby baby. We need to watch it now. Watch and send But my tip point was extremely important. Me that say Abu now over so can be my mint you. Okay, Kakram Bessa Medica, the anti Janet Kayan. Or no, you say the word extremely. I always use the word mandatory. Mandatory? Yeah, because it's something that you cannot do away with. Okay. In a sense, let's even come to our educational sector. Yeah. In our secular world. Yeah. When you are in basic school, we teach you that of what? Uh, mathematics, we, te- we teach you fraction. Mm. We go to JHS, you continue from the SS, you continue from the. If some can knowledge, that's in the way here. Come in, Jin, this is a free basic, a course secondary, no. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at the man we are talking about, Jesus Christ, and from where we, uh, we just read. Mm. At the age of 30 years, no beginning ministry. Why is a right from onset from birth one starting? Mm-hmm. Meaning he has to acquire some certain principle and knowledge okay. in order to increase in that. Mm-hmm. So we'll be my starting there in the Jume Day. Okay. Taking that of what the dictionary uh, uh, definition from the uh, Miram Webster, is that information talking about uh, knowledge, okay. understanding or skills that we get from experience or education. Mm. My brother Joel was talking about uh, Jesus Christ being tempted. He didn't pray. He used the word of God. And he used that one as an experience. Okay. Even in our uh, human life and that, each and every day, we pass through experience. We say the experience is the best word, teacher. Okay. Meaning we learn knowledge from there. So being, uh, being knowledgeable in the Bible should not end in the church room. Okay. Even in our corridors. Mm. Excuse me, even in our water closet. Mm. We, should, we should even have Bible there. Mm. So we'll be able to read more and each and every day we have to read. Mm. Even in our educational uh, that of our, uh, uh, hierarchy. Mm. Somebody will go for diploma from diploma going for degree yes. and not even to master the uh-huh. PhD. Uh-huh. Why not earn it at that of our masters? Meaning the person has known that there's uh, something important, something relevant in knowledge. So as Christians, 
if you want to overcome our daily, each and every day uh, uh, temptation, you have to be much knowledgeable mm. in the Bible. Wow. Because there are some certain things, you don't, you don't have to what, apply that of what, prayer. There are some certain things, you don't have to go and uh, apply what, uh, uh, offering or whatever. But if you know the necessary uh, 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 equipment that uh, to be applied to, mm. you know, go and find yourself one. And that's why even uh, uh, this so-called a uh, man of God are, 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 are making money out of the ignorance, ignorance of some Christians of right. because of they don't know the Bible. Okay. And some are coming out with the excuse that they can't read the Bible. Wow. You can't read, but you can at least go out and give your phone to somebody. Mm-hmm. I mean, person me by so a number. Why not take your Bible to the person? Okay. For them to teach you to read and to learn. Okay. And even I said that one, we also uh, uh, that are Bible studies. Mm-hmm. How many of the even church people come for Bible studies? On Sundays, we, they, they will go to uh, my Bible to have one alpha. Oh, now I'm going to put some paper. It's uncalled Yeah. At a high time that we have to what? set up as Christians. Mm. Amen. All right. Thank you very much. Intina said, "Brabu, I'm a man who wah." When the woman who said, "BBM, we're not going to be able to do it. We have a degree. Our person who are twice so, we are born in masters. When the minimum we are always increasing each day in age. But I'm here to say, "We need to And our Christ, we need to do it. You just say, "Kakrana, you're not here." You know. Yen pre se kwa ni me da se pa o ka wata kure se to asem na mama kai me wa danfo bi on wa to christian literature books bebre na o ba ku bia no o kai no wata kure se inside ho eno ni e christian literature books na ya na leaves near the 10 pages ni 15 pages no yes eno no owura washroom ah na wa fa na wa kan ti anope bia o ko na washroom e kan me ka me kire within 2 weeks what you mean we book back consistency when we say necessary to increase but as a brabu okay what i want to add is uh i think the desire of every mother is that uh, the child grows it's fathers to the same fathers parents let me just uh Put it in that sense. In that sense, yeah. So, uh, not m- mothers alone, but fathers too. Yeah. Say, parents in per se are crowning in it. So, that's why First Peter 2 says, uh, as newborn babes, you need to desire the sincere milk of the word mm. that you may grow thereby. First Peter 2. First Peter 2. Verse 2. two. Very good. You keep yeah. my own hand. Huh? Okay. So, For you reference. need to grow thereby. So you, you you can't stay we have big baby Christians in churches now. Definitely. Like they are so big, like anything they need to cry for. <laughs> big baby Christians. They, oh oh pastor my tummy. Oh pastor, okay, I'll pray for you. Then the tummy goes. The next day, Pastor, my tummy, stay in that same place. Mm. Mm. No growth. Why? Because desiring the sincere milk of the word. It's not there. It's not there. So they are they, they are not they've turned to big baby Christians. Mm. And another one is, it's very necessary because if you want to increase in faith, if you want your faith to grow, mm-hmm. it says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's Romans chapter 10, mm-hmm. verse 17. Mm-hmm. You, you need the word. You, you can't do without the word. So the word is very, very, very important. important. Uh, I think I will, I will end you. You pause there. All right. Thanks so much. So that means that we need to increase. Let me just add one verse. Uh, Colossians 2 verse 19 maybe you can open there colossians 2 verses 19 if someone has the amplified version i'll really be glad the person reads for me colossians 2 verses 19 who is there is someone there is it amplified okay can i hear from you Uh and not holding fast to the head from whom the entire body supplied and knit together by means of a joint and ligament grows with a growth that is from god hallelujah so here we are talking about a kind of growth that is from god hallelujah that is the increase we are talking about the king james brother says that and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered and knit together increases with the increase of god so it's very necessary so that means that even with god there is a kind of increase in god in this Colossians 2 19, that as we hold on to the head, we will increase with the increase of God. There is a kind of increase of God that we all have to cheer towards. So the Christian who is not growing is dying. Praise the Lord. Can I repeat that? Yes. The Christian who is not growing is dying. Because anybody 
who has a permanent age. Obituary, no. Yeah, the ball says 63, no, no, no. They don't increase. Uncle Hubi also said, I've ball says 64. Ghana for Uncle Anna Kwame Nkrumah, who's a year behind a DB can in view, even though it was a form. But Obi, I will be on the age up him. So that means that if the Christian is not increasing in knowledge, what is why in a quiet time, and right Friday, and you know, or say a fasting count, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Saturday in the okay. Friday, the other didn't go through a or that done. If you say, Sir Saturday, no, or the day back, what can you feel? It's a day in Tina, Sir Saturday, no, I'm finding the other for once on your day and can't you know? So, increasing in knowledge is very necessary. Very good, yeah, to us. Uh, let me one baby, but I'm a two second question. Oh, now, oh, Bemo, now what they are for first one, first one, I could read his name. Oh, okay, I mean, see. Brother Lawrence, now uh, Lawrence, we are not Sammy, also, you know, no about the tough one. Army. Okay, David, God bless you. Yeah. I think I'm more than inspired. Thank you for inviting me over here. Um, one up, upon all the information or the, the knowledge that I've had, it simply tells me that increasing in knowledge is necessary because the world itself is global and the word of God itself is what the world without the word, there's nothing like. The word of God. Without the word of God, there's nothing like the word. So it's through the word, it's through the word of God. That is why the word was in existence. So that means that when you you learn the Bible, or when you increase in knowledge, it means that you understand the weakness and the strongness of the earth. That you understand what actually it is the word. That when you face any tribulation or the difficulties, you will know that no, the word of God says this. So what is coming on is it is in the Bible. The solution is in the Bible. So increasing in knowledge, you can meet your friend or anyone that is in a bad situation or facing through some difficulties. By your increasing in the word, just one word can change the situation. Just one word. Just one word mm. can change the situation of the person. Mm. Like today when you called me, that time you asked me that ah, Lawrence, I don't see you from China. I told you that. I, I told you something. Yeah. Told me, ah, okay, we are having some program. Come, and it will help you. I wanted not to come, but later on I told myself that no, let me come at least. I might find I'm against something to increase okay. myself. So I believe in increasing the word of God, like learning the word of God, mm -hmm. is knowing the the, the word itself, mm -hmm. and by knowing the weaknesses and the strongness of the word. Okay. That is what I can. So it's necessary to what uh, to increase, increase in, in the, the word. word of Thank God. you Amen. so much. Okay, brother Sami. I'm your last point to me and quite a second question for today. All right, yeah. um, uh, I think in as much as the world is being increased by the worldly things, mm -hmm. it is equally important for a Christian mm -hmm. and a born again to also increase in the knowledge of the Lord. That is why um, in the book of First Corinthians we compare Adam with Jesus because the first Adam fell because of less of the word that he was having but the last adam passed because he was well versed in the in the in the word in the word of the lord so it th i think it is it is very very relevant for a christian to increase in the knowledge of the lord all right thanks so much also for internet and very nice it is who said and this is you see any number second question beyond coming day but say is it okay to be okay with the knowledge someone has with the word do you think it's okay to be okay with the knowledge you have concerning Christ and then the word of God? Yes or no? No, it's never okay. Thank you so much. Every day should come with a new knowledge about Christ. A man no ya antono daba akupeu. Na di enjini ya kache wa nse mana no ufebi ufebi insiwo. There was a reason. There's a revelation there. Yes, it was some man and none there. Israel may, Moody man and none there. And Fabian could see what. And no me, I would say, Daffo Frobian, who he and him, the Afro Frobi for Christo one. I was a old Nancy. It in car above a numerous six PM, a cost seven PM. Yet me theatre and can see a needy in Tiamia, and you're not dainty now. Sa seven PM, ne boy. And to see a tin cast, ah, me home when you're beyond the front net. Or some a permanent be the man. I know someone that me come on about our own street in one who's a program because one boy we are because all the genie they are full far from home Christo so let's be hungry praise the Lord praise the Lord two C two 
the fragrance of his knowledge. Oh, Jimmy, so to see the fragrance of his knowledge. All right, thanks so much. So, uh, our listeners, uh, we're still um, on it. We are deliberating on the subject. How can the Christian increase in the knowledge of the word in a world where lots of things demand our attention? And seated here are uh, wonderful youths from Obwasi Municipality gathered here at run-ups they are helping us in this program they are our sponsors and then some Fiero photograph is also around syndefeated.com and then save a soul today uh, we are here enjoying this program okay now i want to move on to my next question and then a day and the um the, the, the pivot of our program not ever and they say into your house increasing in knowledge in a good idea then how must we grow how must we grow is it okay with Sunday church? So that we can grow? Is it okay when uh, we have the quiet time or the Bible studies on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays alone? How are you growing in the word? What do you mean? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, a quiet first reading in our day, a Diana, you demand your flesh, no in Yinana, home, home, so I say, you feed in Hallelujah. More some fast steps, you want to say, Bobo, so fast, fast now. So, maybe I'm taking my time. Uh, okay, Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Tell me, I did Daniel more call. Let me say, like slavery or they were being taken from their own native land to a different uh, place. Mm. Yeah, they were supposed to give them the land's meal, but Daniel was determined determined daniel chapter 1 verse 8 daniel was determined so i think in this world that is full of the uh, hedonism people going astray it takes a christian to be resolute and determined i think that's the first thing we are supposed to do because until you have to be determined i think determination is the first key determination uh, david was determined psalm 19 verse 30 Someone and I want to be David was determined. Paul, I'm determined. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2. I don't want us to read it. But the results of the determination came. So let's look at Daniel chapter 1, verse 17. When Daniel was determined, let's find out what happened. Daniel chapter 1, verse 17. Uh, any specific verse you want? Yeah, any version at all. Okay, so anybody can read for us. Any version at all. Okay. And for these four youth, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all kinds of vision and dreams. Wow, so that was the result of Daniel's determination with the other three. Okay, now. And then I think it should be separation. After you are determined, separation. We need separation. No wonder Paul talks about it in uh second Corinthians chapter six, verse 14 to 18. That be ye separate from the world. So what friendship has uh, the uh, righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship has light with darkness? There's no fellowship with light that oh what that for be relationship is two ways. Some more madam for now pouring in into him and it's not pouring into me. I also may drop it on because they be our betrayal one day. They they be our one watch you. They be our one watch you. They be our one more for solution. This means you be our two feeding with solution. That's how I want the class about it because they be our memo answers. Memo answers also also mommy answers nibi. So relationship is two way. Hallelujah. So may I not one boy me out. Some may drop you. Uh, 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 David said that to also in Psalm 119 verse 115. He said that David said that Psalm 119 uh, is there. And Jesus also quite often separated himself to the wilderness to pray. Jesus himself, quite often, according to Luke chapter 6 verse 16, he quite he did that most often, not tired bah, just to pray to be endured with the spirit to come out. And the third one, I think, when we go to the, sec- the secret place to separate ourselves, what we build is convictions. You need conviction as a christian i didn't know you christian you have to protect that conviction you build on it not definitely here but christians will be better come on fun on fun on my baby the purpose of your christian in a money trade the book of the war sorry so be kind of purpose of your christian yeah well a better flat to an age more i saw them all but you make it say i say so i think from determination separation conviction then you come to growth like we were just starting on 
Nini no? Ewo kukum. Revelation chapter four verse one. Well, before uh, John, Apostle uh, John received those uh, uh, last la, last days uh, revelation. God told him Revelation chapter four. Climb up here. He says, Come up here. Come up. Fushro, fushro. That's one thing. Maybe I want to call on thing. On fushro. But now, come on, Moses. I will hear wilderness. Will be any hope. Proverbs chapter twenty-five verse two. He says, It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but it is the armor of kings to what to what set out a matter. Let me do that in the privacy. We don't do that publicly so church is not enough or see a thing after growth then we come to maturity we need to be matured christians hallelujah so maturity Ephesians of the four verse 13 to 15 you find that also there it comes as we put it on and then we come to maturity hallelujah all right so thank you so much uh concerning um how we must grow joe angelo free by you know or free uh determination uh say i will say we and I feel separation. I was out to be so home. Send a bear will be in it. Tim Hunini, this one here, and I'll have conviction. I was a winner in a way be a pursue a spell on. Send a bear will be in it. I know about growth in the beam and then towards maturity. Okay, and it is the results of my new. Why best now? Oh, first we need to know what I'm going to say. We're going to say, I want 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 to this is here who used to the first one in here mommy when i'm here anybody with an idea yes jane woman we understand in um psalm 119 verse 105 mm. that thy word is a lump to my feet and a light for my path okay for me it is one of the verses that drives me because I believe that if the word of God is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, yeah. there is no way I would downplay it. Okay. And personally, I believe that daily devotion is very important. Mm. I don't see how I walk on one mm. So you must prepare. The Bible you must prepare in and out of season because they need the better year work also. So every day, I believe a personal devotion should be very necessary. And then we give all kinds of excuses. Majuma is, I have to be at work by 7. My kids have to be in school by 7.30. Fine. But you make time to bath. You make time to eat. Watch movies. You make time to poo poo. When you are going, go with your Bible. That's what I do. Sometimes, and not for me, I'll go and sit on my something with my Bible. That's it. And I'm doing it. It's between me and God. Mm. So once my state of heart is good, it doesn't matter where you find yourself mm. you should still make time make for time. god don't make excuses mm. and like brother joel said company is also important mm -hmm. there are some people around us we must cut them off mm. without apology because well it's because probably my friends don't choose me i choose my friends and i don't care mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. family because the point is that I believe so much that every person around me is a destiny. In Tobana, I will be trimming Kwana Sase, me and Yam for so being fruits. Why? Pass, I think, wait, I mean, trim out. I will cut you off mm -hmm. and then I'll move on. In the same way, everyone around us has a part to play. In to say, Oh, Hana say, me, me, Hana say, Madame Fu, Nase. Well, I don't, I've never had such a friend because before I buy Madame Fu, let us say, My young white woman, Casa, my veto. And so I'm about my dad for mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. before you become my friend. So I think that personally, those are the things that keep me moving. Mm. Our prayer life too is very important. Mm. Everywhere we go, when I'm out to care more, prayer is the communication between you and God. Mm. You don't need to be shouting. If you are to care more, if you are driving your own car, you can blast in tongues That's wherever it. you are. That's it. You don't have to apologize to anybody. One more big lips, not say you feel like worshiping. It's your car. Even corner of the corner my letter is my mouth. I feel like praying that day. What is the point? Mm -hmm. So I think that we shouldn't be limited by our environment and the people around us. Mm. And let's make the word of God, you know, reading and studying it, especially with our families. Let's make it the purpose. Make us a baby by more The way things are going deep, especially with the youth of today. Say so you're developing that family thing with them. Uh, I bear you say in the next 10 to 20 years from now, you'll be see it as Christians. We'll be working in shame. Until let's make time with our younger brothers and sisters at home. 
yenye omudi nko mo yen kanya me asɛ mo mo yen chɛ chɛrɔ mo mo and the social media na jɛ 80% of our time so the kids of today don't even and make time to understand what the bible is saying mm. into yen no manya me adɔ me yen no as we are studying and we are understanding yen chi yenwa no kɛtɔ an ntena ho and not a mama points and let's give them assignments give them passages to read what bar make demand mm. place demand on them say book na make us say kind word we hear and let's make them accountable because they are looking up to us as our role models into the say yeah if you say we are going like the second question we shouldn't be okay with what think what we think we have and on a complacency there's this passage i say i have a new wine cannot be put in an old wine skin. skin yeah so let us upgrade ourselves every day in the word of god madam wow thanks so much thanks so much thanks so much i like i like that point we make it key point we see we should make time make time sabi so we call baby so kurano we nyabre ya day or so means why i'm a tie so we're gonna have family most of the preaching that she's gonna be in a high so now i'm a show i'm a tea preaching every day and of course no it's a minute i'm gonna be here you know i'm a signature it's a little bit out from bare 10th minute to 15th minute now we said tbl's you know, me to us anna now one of the queer pts ah yeah well a very pts off on the back i say yeah pass a chris messenger or back on this one i say repeat i just want to catch that it's a mission papua me ya yon and no mission at all you know and one day to move on soon sir and look around on me man on you enough you say no no i know i am a friend of prelims quiet time and here prelims then you're quite doing that break time you know you may say ha quality 30 minutes wait here it was a meeting minutes naturally conkono on a made a mission it is just a kind of how eddie atre yem brene ya swan is a me but also come out chairman since i lose him i mean to you how do you increase in the knowledge of the word um, as christians we all have busy schedules yeah. um work school family they are all taking our attention and we as christians we have to prioritize okay Yes, you have to make the word of God your priority, mm -hmm. and by you, have, you can do that by developing a genuine interest in the word of God. Okay. So whenever you know that today you'll be busy or you are not able to do your quiet time, nowadays smartphones are all available. All right. The word of God you can just download it. Mm -hmm. We have Bibles on our phones, so whenever mm -hmm. you go to work, whenever you are at school and it is break time, mm -hmm. you just connect your earpiece and you'll be listening to it. So mm -hmm. that one will help. Wow, wow! If you make God's word your priority. Oh, the other one is true. Say, say, say. I know that that one is my one list. I own. Now one year, now no part. Maybe I'm not part of one set. So we're now one year. We come and show the enemy. Now still our wife is only a baby. Only a baby. But once they be here, yes. It's here. Yeah. Market is more jo. It's more jo. No one, no one, no one. Fa. Now we're the whole way. Now we're seeing the market crash. Ha. Now we're going to make a call. Say, say. What's up? Now we're going to be a really devotion. Any idea? We still don't get that. Because upon some distraction level, I was so one noon later, and the people want to cruel down a fine boy in a yard at all. How are you? No one here, not distraction. Okay, open a crown for to play mode straight up because you're reading from what the app on your phone a very necessary. No, we saw a pedan and sir. Quite best now so far to increase it. Okay, my mama. Okay, Sammy, Sammy, Bram, Bram, and then the idea now we're the very last question. But I am thirteen, no. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's me and a half. Come on, Miss. So, a queer the first so any army person may say, and he said, I was say, as a Christian, what set you go? Set your go. What do you want to reach? Say, me kind of Bible, no, where Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 now. Okay, uh, New English uh, translation. I'll say, this young couple or giant on the seventh day. Why? Not because he was tired. But because he has finished what he wants to do. One stop it day, one day, two day, three. One stop it day, seven. No, so I bread. No, so I saw that. Never, and they say, or stop it, bring out, or see, oh, who is it? Well, we. Yes, and so, by with all and your mouth for more pains near the end now. When Jai that, come on, say, oh, we are sinners, or say, we, it is finished. So, Christians, and you find out who Christians, no person, what you do. And it's not if you are um football mm. and I could come back and mm. I want to pass all the way. And I pass all the winning souls. Mm. You set your goals and try to achieve it. As God and I, yes, you are doing it, you know. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. My second point is that I was saying, me acting on the word 
which is within me. Mm. James chapter um, two verse. 20, verse <laughs> I think the more I will practice, no. uh -huh. the more I now get used to it. I want to be a cool name. Two, I was mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to, uh, was a dear me to us on the army. Didn't you say? Also, when you be a consulting no. particular person, but trust and say, Oh, maybe I'm facing this challenge. Mm -hmm. Like, my fans say, Me, me, tap me, pay pornographic movies, mm -hmm. and if me, person, me, jaya, I can't sit down and say, say Me, jaya, yeah. okay, yeah. Also, when you be a trust now, catch your problems, share this. I'll say, how so? so. And don't catch your be a one so what to me, a jazz okay. animal, and take over there be an over to me a day. And you know, our Christmas soon. Very good. You have the child to say, I was all your committed. Commitment. Christian, I was all committed on who to me. I will answer with your mission and answer with Bible. No, I didn't tell you a survey five thousand people, didn't ya? As this and all when you're doing indie. Is it no money baby that people are more no more honor? They were committed to the essence of a comedy woman, and so or see or be tear as seven. And so called Christmas may do a solid demo. Yeah, it's awful pretty. A trap thirty minutes, one hour, a corner. I feel no beer, bro. I saw it at try eleven thirty. I have corner, no beer, a bro. You are not committed. You be a person in India must be committed. Committed, very good. Who can be we call that one an accountability partner? Pornography here now, okay. A boapa, only accountability partner, be now confide in him. Nani Pani check up on you, say, Ubit me a giant, you may be a yana, a boapa. All right, me did you say, who's a sheet be a coron? Uh, and to be a Jumedia no air baby here to our cherished listeners and our viewers. Uh, we really respect the fact that you're listening to us. Um, to see to in no time. The month of April's edition will be coming to an end, and so um, the sheet you find, um, we just want you to write um, your comments, uh, any observations, any improvements in our next month uh, May's edition, any suggestions, um, so that um, we will we'll see to it and then work on that. Into here the paper number one watch will be big to be ever so. Enter here you made know every year. And into next year last question here this you know I know here. Send a wolf as so any a woo yammy as him. Rather, some ain't you. And I'm different. And that question I'll be saying the same question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather, some will touch you on previous now. Uti me, uti me, Philip. The address, yeah, address, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, apart from um, general timer, Mina, Eddie, Isian, and Yasim, and I'm a day ready Bible. No. Um, the a bomb in mommy to me, any any oh, my some a tips. Wow, tips to be frank mm -hmm. and not a bomb mm. because Monsieur, there in term war, they will be catching me. Oh, okay, and say me far there. I can kind as a one one girl out to me this year. Yeah, hey, tips. and I will talk all very good. All right, and she said, Um, I think you you bear witness yeah. with yeah. me, say more at times than my bow, but Joe. Mommy tips, mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. break. Let me tell you what the me market go on. Oh, my son, I was so keen. Go on, go on. I say, Galia, you should be so cool. Was it Galina? Um, my staff, they all know that this is what I do. Wow, Obama, I did to what you mean. Say, message or what I mean, and a boy, yeah, what you say, sir, and a be also because. Media shame me say may your personal evangelism mm. on Tuesdays and Thursday. Mm. I always have to make sure say me ready. Let me share some no. Send a boy I'm a quite bonty. I'm to me ne be hiding. I can now be so be some ya. Me to me so hiding. I church you my hiding. Me bo not just say oh oh personal evangelism away. Yeah. And when you be now so much you can have me share some no. Oh yeah, dabe ne dabe. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mas ang kofu ni ni o kofu ni ni. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Person I enjoy ka enjoy. <laughs> uh -huh. you know, I think that a normal, a normal two year apart from say, it be an adjo me beda me na da general reading Bible no. A normal two be an adjo come to meet ya na ma fe mo ada. Ah yeah yeah yeah. Well, but me sorry na e go busa. One at a time sir. 
Uti a preacher was from Ada. I told her, Uti Misuda and I said, Uti preach and then Impe. Rabbi Zakaria has never cast a throw. I said, Uti and Pastor Chris and him. My God, also for me, that's it. I'm sure. In fact, I was seeing me. I was seeing me. I was seeing me. Joshua 1 8. Joshua 1 8. Or today. Joshua 1 8. And then I bear my last verse. No, my Yima Akasa. Joshua 1 8. A very common uh, verse. Pa. But. Lucy, come on, I'm here. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Over to me, a demo. Amplified. Amplified, young This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Shall not depart. Uh-huh. But you shall meditate on it day and night, mm. that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, mm. and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. Wow, you shall make, not God, you shall make. You shall make your way you shall make prosperous. Also for NLT, no, now can NLT do a kind new living translation. Steady this book of instruction continually. Steady steady this book of instruction continually. Mm. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Mm. Praise the Lord. That is it. Day and night have them. You have seen any day. I was seeing a timid young day and night. Praise the Lord. Meditate in the Greek. You know, ah, Greek. You know, say Greek. You know, say dogo, dogo. Now, dogo, no, or just say to ponder or see to matter. What's a matter? M U W T E R. So, to as a obesity, so I don't know. As a obesity, so I don't know. Sano to matter and now to speak to speak. Your color will be crowded. You are to raw, to raw. I don't know about what kind of verse. Nah, I am prosperous, prosperous, prosperity. What team? This are to raw, and I say talk, to talk, and I to study. Oh, trona, oh, trona, oh, trona. Dictionary more B. Different versions of B. Commentaries of B. Any other? Inti anu ano? You pesi e nini? You pesi e nini? Ende du me di e no ana? You de ba ne wi e yano? If you say your time has sung, your time has sung, your time has sung. It's been a wonderful time. It's been a wonderful time. And the lessons learned, you know, I first day in tea, Major Bayami and Sape. Major Bayami and Sape, now you are a uh, snack, you know, yeah, they are kind of an informal session, you know, so informal session, and you may know, and then you know, 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 you Aha, uh-huh. Sister Christy and Kasai, I will free Presby Ascension. Aha, uh-huh. and it's Sister Christy and the Dean was here. It will be the Messiah and Yama be brave. First, no, Master, not me, name, sir. I was said to be a me and a quiet timer to say the Messiah said to be a me and a quiet time. I'm sure many come cry or some before, so I'm a man, son of mother, son of mother. Very good, Sister. I was so forced here. No way. And son, what that because come to our force with the aha okay, uh, sister and uh, okay, my mama, brother, brother Lawrence, mommy, mommy, and that they were here and that they were here, brother, my ten nine brother Lawrence, and <laughs> <laughs> brother Lawrence, mommy, too, and at the end, I was here, they call my son, baby. God blesses, God should bless all of you, amen. At least when you know, my encouraging me, mm. and I've learned a lot, mm. but. I thank God, sir. Like today, I'm here, oh, oh. and it has increased. I can't say my spirit. Ah, mm. I've learned that as a Christian, though, we have our weaknesses, but upon all our weaknesses, you know, we shouldn't let the weakness to press us. Yeah. But we shouldn't give up. That there is a God out there that He is always, no matter what happened, mm. no matter how our sin is greater, mm. that God is always there to raise us up. If only we will acknowledge, say, we are at fault. And always know, say, no, this is my weakness. Though it is my weakness. Or say, even the weakness of David couldn't change the mind of God. Or the love that God had for David. Because God knew, say, this is how I moved David. But then, oh, David is my son. Still, he is the man after my heart. So we can make God a man after our heart by we not giving up on our life by we continually reading our bible in terms of our weaknesses in terms of our difficulties we will continue 
cling to God to no God. matter what. Right. And I think through that, you know, both in our secretness and our garden like this, you know, it can increase us to, uh, to move forward. This is what I've learned that increasing in the word of God and garden like this, you know, it helps what? One to what? To increase more, 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 more power. And right. God blesses you all. Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you so much for that one. Okay. So we'd like to hear that's the last, anyone with the last lesson learned today. Anyone with the last lesson learned today? Uh, then we end. Okay, Lucy will help us in the last lesson. Then, Mr. Missy, I say, not your brother, cousin. He said, We shouldn't be okay at where we are. Send your your co school up, your basics, basic class, your feather, or your diploma, your person, or your degree. So, we should continue design the work of the Amen. You know, you want your life from your busy increase, you will see a year increase. All right, it's been a wonderful time, uh, more especially. Um, to those who are watching us live on Facebook and also um, through um, Sydney Fitted Online Radio. Um, we've been sponsored by some people, Run Up Catering Services. I have Spring Group, Papa, and I have a lot of people. I have a lot of people. I have a lot of people. I have a Spring Group, Papa, and I have a lot of people. I have a lot of people. Or they are a family, am I a silver soul today? I save a soul today, my brother Joel. The prisons and hospital visitation ministry. One so I can be Anna, uh, Jumedia, a cost of some fierro photography. A year, brother, and also a chat in Funino now, or they are called YouTube Live. Uh, and also a did you map our one home day, a mebuna team in Timon, but I am a money and a where they never saw a monkey, some fierro, a hand up, be a intimate cotton, and fat. And mama, all right. Your WhatsApp line also air around. I had the better to drop and so net me up why in ye pa. And I feel so I have with me. Uh, me did yes, as I will have any brother Joel. The entire day, say, ah, eh, customized. Jesus is beige shirt. You were different colors. You were color green, you were color white, black. and I were black. And I feel you were pink, right? Uh huh. We are so crazy for Christ. And you ever see entire day, crown in a man near the pretty Christ. And it's a 25 CD spec. A twenty-five cities in Tennessee. So we here be a utimi ebeji baako. After his utimi kwa Toby, e de chwa dam fwa. We did the essay ebe bwa pa ye. All right. And after his so ah in a way, eh best best eh best an official attire for the Bible studies. This monthly Bible studies two C two. And to ojo odi a ni a oba pe na we si no atu kama. And also in Tennessee we ni be a utimi ba debi. Eh we ni be kwa still utimi ba. So it's been a wonderful time. We touch on the subject. How can the Christian increase in the knowledge of the word in a world where lots of things demand our attention? We, we have learned that increase is necessary because Jesus even increased. And I am who said the knowledge of the word, we need it in order to grow. And now, where lots of things are taking our attention, no, you who say, you have a priority, and your WhatsApp, and your Facebook, all those social media are there, but we will know where to put them. And we will know where to put God's word in place. And no and then yes, yeah. And you know na nyami sha mu pa se mu ya son na muba afi invitation no so maba amana efe na yen target number no yeah somewhere around fifteen. Na I believe say it looks like we have we have clocked the target number. We thank God so much. In our next month, um watch out for next month's date and then next month's topic and next month's discussion. And you see na de a wo no no. Yet I must ye pa. But money has over to be our paper white now. Yet the amount of so. Your suggestions, any idea ever so. A be our person next time. A call a step higher. Utimi and my own ideas be our towards this program. Utimi and my own. We will not um remain only here. But I know, say, one day, one day, this program could be live on air on our radio station here in Obwasi. It could be on shaft. It could be on time. Taking it live where youth will gather like this. Yes. So. We're still on it. We still seek for sponsors. Yeah, I tempted him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People have been sponsoring it single-handedly. Photography, BBR, single-handedly. Someone is sponsoring online radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Data, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are sponsoring. So um, we still seek out for sponsorships towards um, this program. All right. Two C two, the fragrance of his knowledge. Oh, Mantio. Two C two, the fragrance. Of for the last time, 2C2, the fragrance of his knowledge. All right, thank you so much. Uh, before we start enjoying our, this thing, we we'll want to close our eyes 
and then um, we'll do a word of prayer okay um, as we've closed our eyes i'll just want you to take 30 seconds you want to tell the holy spirit that he should cement these words in your heart i will call on uh, mrs jane to um, pray and then close us for today's to see two of the truth you are god and there is none like you we thank you for such a wonderful session that we have had your word says that we should not forsake the gathering of the brethren therefore tonight as we have gathered to rightly divide your word of truth we pray that lord your word shall be cemented on the tablet of our hearts in the name of jesus Amen. give us the grace to imbibe it in jesus name Amen. as we move about our daily affairs keep reminding us that you are coming back again and let your word be a light to our path and a lamp to our feet this and many other blessings we ask in jesus name amen amen 